photo to wood transfer. We're going to need some medium gel or gel medium and also some Mod Podge. Get these from your local craft store or easily available on eBay. We're going to need a photo which we're going to transfer onto the wood. Get this done on laser print. It's a lot better than in jet. Get it in mirror image because we're going to sit it face down onto the piece of wood. Get yourself a nice piece of wood, cut it to fit, and then we're good to go. Okay, so get your gel medium and just give a nice small coating over all the wood. This is basically just like a glue which you're going to stick down the laser print copy onto face down, remember? So a nice little layer all the way around. Place your laser copied print face down. The reason why you get mirror image is because if it's a portrait the obviously person is going to be on the opposite side so make sure it's mirror image when you get your copy done put this down make sure it's nice and firm and then just leave it for 24 hours and then get yourself a nice bowl full of water do this near the sink and gently gently just wet the back of the print and just rub away give yourself 10 minutes it just take a while if you're not happy just leave it come back the next day and wet it again and just keep going give it another 10 minutes if you're not happy leave it and come back again It'll just take a while and you'll see the grain of the wood coming through and also you might lose bits here and there bits of the corner I'll just go around and take chunks away makes it look a lot uh, more vintage looking you do uh, lose the end of your fingers towards it okay so there we go we're about done now just let this dry make sure it's nice and dry and clean if it's not done just do a little bit more I've got a little bit in that corner okay as you can see I've left the borders clear because I'm going to put a stainer on this one but if you're doing yours right to the edge then obviously it doesn't matter get your Mod Podge all this is doing is basically putting a lacquer over the top and it dries up and gives it a nice canvas look so put that on do one layer let it dry put another layer on top it doesn't matter just coat it this covers it all over and you think what am I doing but it's once it's dried out it becomes nice and clear and then you're about finished so that's my little video of photo transfer to wood give it a go you'll have a couple of disasters but uh, trial and error and I've done some, some nice ones I'm quite pleased with and you can pass these on to friends and family okay thanks for watching my little video give it a go